going on fellas welcome back to the channel coming at you with another video today it's going to be a short one because this vlog has almost no info just very basic the most bare bones vlog we gotten from my team all year i don't know how it is for the other modes but for my team it's dead before we hop into that man i'm live right now on kick uh just go to kick.com and look up decentric or you can do download the app on your phone the first link down below in the description it'll take you into the stream we are live right now anyways Let's get on to the video, man. Steph Curry for basically level one. As soon as you log in and start the new season, you got to get an end game Steph Curry, which I think it's obviously, you know, it's a free Steph Curry. It's amazing. But at the same time, we know that he's only 6'3". So, you know, it is what it is. It's a free end game card. We are not going to complain about it. You're not even playing for him. You're literally just logging on and starting the season. So, you know, shout out to 2K for that, I guess. Um, they do mention that you're going to be able to get multiple Galaxy Opal and Dark Matter players uh, and multiple endgame cards uh, during the season as you grind to level 40 and things of that nature. Uh, and then we move on to the level 40 and it's going to be a Joel B. Now, this is where I got to ask you guys how you guys feel about this. Um, obviously, with Manu Bo, uh, Hero Yao Ming, and, and all these other cards, right? Just want to know how you guys feel about a level 40 Joel Embiid. I, I mean, I think it's cool. One, because he was obviously the MVP, and it's like they're giving Joel Embiid his flowers in a way in one of the last seasons of, of my team. So I don't know how much I love him as the level 40. I think this is a great card for like a no money spent account. Like for my no money spent, he's definitely going to run. Uh, but I, even then, I, I think you're forced to run them at the power forward. And if you're running against Manu Bo, you're still going to be outmatched. But it is what it is. They, they, they're going to give them some great animations, it being an end game. So, Joel Embiid, let me know in the comment section uh, how you guys feel about that being a level 40. Hadn't really got the chance to talk about this in a video. But the Bill Russell being the end game reward uh, for the spotlights alongside the option to pick up KD or Ban Carroll, guys. I've seen some people complain. About, you know, the fact that KD and Ben Carroll are going to be available uh, basically for free right after they had made them, you know, guaranteed for $50 a pop, which I got both of them. That's 100 bucks that I that I put down on that. Um, I'm not really butthurt about it, to be honest. You know, I know some people are bothered by the fact that, um, you know, now you get them for free. People are saying it's not a brand new player. I'm like, well, it is a brand new player. You're still getting Bill Russell. You have the option to get Bill Russell. Now, would it be the smartest if you don't have KD and Ben Carroll? Probably not, because he's so undersized. Uh, a lot of people were campaigning to make this card a small forward, and I 100% I agree. We've gotten Bill Russells in the past uh, that are really good, and they've been at the small forward position. So, we'd love to see 2K make this change. However, I don't see how after put him in, putting him in the Season 8 blog, how they would go back on that, letting us know he's already a center power forward. People could be planning already to pick him up or not pick him up based on the fact that they already saw what position he's in. So it would be just weird if they went at the last second and, and they changed him. But let me know how you guys feel about the Bill Russell. Again, I think at center power forward, I mean, Joel Embiid, you might be able to get away with. Bill Russell, uh, not so much. Not so much. And I don't care if he is going to have the greatest animations and a great jumper and all these things. That's cool and all, but it's just... The game, the meta runs on height, and Bill Russell's not going to provide that at, at the 4 or the 5. So, um, yeah. Shout out to Takeda. These these card arts look amazing. Look at the Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid is great. And I think Steph Curry is super elite. They, they picked a great picture there. They do mention that there's going to be exciting events uh, for new cards and to keep an eye out for that. So, you already know we're going to be getting, you know, triple threat, triple threat offline, unlimited. I do wonder who the unlimited reward is going to be for 6,000 points. Um, it, it sounds to me like that would be an invincible, but if they give us an end game card, um, for, for grinding unlimited, that would be really nice. I would love for it to be, uh, an end game. And if they do give us an invincible, that's fine. As long as they make it like a, a player that could actually run in the lineup. And again, that goes back to height. Sorry if you disagree with that, but the entire mode is based on length, wingspan, height, ability to rebound, ability to clog the lanes and just... Take up as much space on the court as possible. It shouldn't be that way, but that's the way it is. So uh, I'm looking forward to hopefully, you know, for the one mode that I play the most, for Unlimited to be somewhat rewarding uh, when it comes to the player, at least. Obviously, we're going to be getting some former packs uh, for the 20-pack box and the 10-pack box. But I'm just looking forward to the player being someone we can use. They don't mention who that's going to be. So we'll find out, uh, you know, on Friday when the season drops. Uh, but I'll be I'll be hopping into that unlimited grind right away. 
as far as triple threat co-op guys i know i didn't touch triple threat co-op this season uh i'm gonna leave it up to you guys if you guys want to grind some co-op this season to get those rewards that's on me for not playing it last season i just I, I didn't feel like it but this season i'll leave it up to you guys if you do want to play co-op uh let me know in the comment section if i should bring that back into the streams uh, i feel like people just enjoy unlimited so much more it's just a fact people enjoy unlimited more than the triple threat co-op but if you guys do want to get those streams i'll hold it down uh but yeah guys like i said man i'm live right now on kick first link down below thank you guys for watching this video uh i'm i'm, I'm really annoyed you know what i mean it's one of the last seasons it's kind of expected we're going to be getting a lot of end games and things of that nature but god like they could have given us more info in the blog i feel like they just gave us two players they said well, you're getting joel Embiid for level 40 you're getting steph curry when you log in and hey bro you can just guess the rest of the stuff yourself they gave us no more info uh, which it's just, it's, it's, I mean, it's whack for a video at least. All I'm telling you guys is we're getting Joel Embiid and a, and a Steph Curry. Don't even know how I made this video this long. But yeah, guys, Bill Russell, let me know how you guys feel. I honestly would love to see him at small forward. Um, but, you know, if you're a collector, I guess this is dope, man. You did a couple of spotlights and you ended up getting a Bill Russell. It's, it's cool. Uh, again, I don't recommend you get the Bill Russell. If you don't have the KD, KD is shooting guard number one in this, in, in this game, period. And I struggle with the card. I suck with KD. And I'm still telling I'm telling you right now, get the KD. If you don't have him, get KD. If you don't have Ben Caro, don't get Bill Russell over Ben Caro. That would also be my, my suggestion. You can do whatever you want. Uh, just because Bill Russell, the height at the four, at the five. It's not it. Now, if he's your favorite player or you a Celtics fan, hey, man, thumbs up to you. Enjoy. I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. Live on kick. Link down below. Love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Let's get it.